to say good morning everybody welcome to today's vlogmas daddy's watching a video or a movie very loudly so if you hear that that's what that is in the background yeah 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 so our neighbor just came over um and brought us some of these which we love she brings them every year they're the best um they're sausage balls so that i'm about to make some um and sausage yeah mm -hmm. And brought us some brownies here. She wrapped up here. I could smell them as soon as she gave them to me. Like these really good brownies. Oh no 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 no! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Eat. Yep, we're gonna eat it here in a minute. Eat. Um, and then uh, she brought Zion some gifts. She brought him a book. <laughs> she brought him a book and a little sign. We'll show that to you as well. Um, that's super super cute and really nice. He was so thrilled. He got so excited opening that. Um, so she's just the nicest. We are making her some bread right now. It's funny, we'd actually planned on doing that today, this morning. And then she came this morning with our stuff. So I guess we were all thinking the same day we'd planned on uh, making her bread today. Wanted it to be freshly baked, so uh, we're making her some bread in our bread maker right now. I'm gonna run that over later when it's done. And uh, yeah, that's super fun. And we just love having her. I've talked about her before. She's a really, really great neighbor. So we love having her there. She came to Zalon's birthday party and all that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I'll show you in a second the book. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down and tell you guys about why my morning has not been so great ever since 4 a.m. actually. Um, and so let me tell you guys, at 4 a.m., Zion, by the way, went to take his nap, it's one now, but at 4 a.m., we woke up to our house alarm going off. We have a security system at our house, and, um, obviously the alarm goes off, you know, if if um essentially if the windows or the door the doors are opened while the alarm is set then it goes off <laughs> so you can imagine we've lived here for four years a little bit over four years it was four years in um september and um we've never had this happen we had the alarm system it was here when we moved in and we've never had it go off like that. I mean, we've had it go off if we've maybe forgot to shut it off in the morning and then open the door. It's happened a few times. You know, you just shut it off real quick. But we've never had it go off in the middle of the night like that. So you can imagine my in mine and Mary, Mary Mary's mine and Manny's terror when the alarm goes off. And if you've ever heard a security alarm go off. I'm used to them from home, but also from like churches I've worked in and stuff, they all have them. It is terrifying. Like, <laughs> like literally, it just stresses you out to no end. So it goes off and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Somebody's literally breaking into our house. And I just, I was terrified. Zion co-sleeps with us. I was thinking last night, that's just another reason. And I'm so glad that he does because he was just right there. All I had to do was just reach over. I could grab him. But he somehow didn't wake up for this house alarm going off. I mean, and it's, it's extremely loud. We have a sound machine in our room, but the alarm is loud. Like, like scary bad kind of loud. So he didn't even wake up. But when Manny and I got out of the bed to see what was going on, he woke up then because we'd moved. But not because... <laughs> You know, because we weren't there anymore, but not because of the alarm. Which I think is cute. But anyway, so he just kind of woke up, but he still didn't fully wake up. He was kind of like out of it. And I just grabbed him. He went back to sleep on me. I held him walking around for a minute in the in the bedroom. He and I did not come out of the bedroom because I'm not doing that. If he was, you know, something was actually happening, I'm obviously not going to take the baby out there to the, you know, to confront the person. So I just stayed in there. And Manny bravely came out and uh, checked everything out. And, um... I was terrified. I mean, I truly, I was just praying, just terrified. Like, again, in my mind, I'm like, I really don't think anything happened. I doubt it, you know, but you never know. And so it's just that what if something's really happened, you know, and the alarm went off. And so I thought maybe that, like, maybe they left if somebody tried to break in, you know. Um, anyway, Manny comes back to the room. He's like, I don't know. And I said, maybe it's, it's been really, it was really cold last night. It's, we've had that, you know, Arctic thing happening, Arctic, whatever it's called. So, um, 
I was like, maybe the window broke or something from being cold. I mean, I'm just making things up at this point. Just thinking it has to have something to do with the weather because the weather's so different right now. And he's like, I don't know. So he looks on, on the app that we have and it had said something about, um, we, it was a, something wrong with the sensor in one of the windows. Um, and this took a while. I mean, for us to, again, it's never gone off. So we really didn't even know, you know, what would cause it beyond just somebody all walking in the house. Um, and so anyway, we're getting that fixed and everything and, and we'll be set. But, um, thankfully we know it works. Um, and it's... <laughs> It, uh, yeah, anyway, we quickly realized that there wasn't, like, imminent danger, um, and, uh, made sure the police, you know, knew not to come and all of those things because we knew it wasn't dangerous, but, uh, it was just terrifying at first, so, anyway, then this morning, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to go back to sleep after that. I told Manny, I can't sleep after that. That kind of stuff freaks me out so bad. There's no way I'm going to sleep. Well, it was 4 a.m. and I hadn't gone to bed until like 1. I have, I just have had so many things to do. I knew I needed to sleep because Zion um, usually wakes up at 8, but sometimes he wakes up randomly, you know, at 6.30 or something. And I didn't want to like just literally be awake the whole night pretty much, you know. Um, and so anyway, I did end up falling back asleep. After Manny figured that out about the sensor, I felt a lot better. Um you know at least I knew it wasn't just somebody trying to get in the house or something so anyway then um I woke up at like eight and we laid in bed for a while but woke up with him at like eight and just laid there looked at my phone that kind of stuff just hung out um and then I got this trapped nerve in my shoulder shoulder and neck area which happens to me it's it isn't uncommon but it hasn't happened in a little while I do have, I've talked before, I have a whole video about having scoliosis and some back issues, so that's not uncommon for me to get, like, trap nerves and things. Anyway, I still have this issue, which Manny massaged me and actually helped a lot with it. But I need to get back into going to the chiropractor because that helped me so much. And lifting weights helps me a lot. I've noticed my back is a lot weaker, even though I carry Zion around all day long, literally. I mean, I carry him a lot, and he's heavy. You would think my back would be stronger, but I think because I'm not doing targeted, like, I need targeted back exercises. Like, not just lifting things. I have to specifically go in with the mindset I'm going to get a stronger back. And that's what really helps me when I do, um, like, rowing type of exercises are what help me more than anything. Which I have a rowing machine in that room, so I can do that. And I did the other day. But, you know, when I was, before I got pregnant, I worked out every day except for Sunday for over a year. Um, and including actually probably about a couple years, including, um, the whole pregnancy. So, um, until I was 35 weeks, I stopped then just because I felt like it was a time that I needed to, uh, relax a little bit more. But, um, yeah, until I was 35 weeks and, um, I had a really easy pregnancy, an amazing pregnancy. The reason that I really stopped working out was because I was having pelvic pain, um, like lightning crotch. I started to get that really bad at the end. If you guys ever heard of that. Um, and so lifting and stuff made that happen more. Um, but until then it was just as easy as can be. And even after then it was easy. I mean, literally I was 40 weeks pregnant when I gave birth and still felt great. I wasn't like out of breath all the time or anything like that. So I really feel like it made a difference. So I need to do those things and I know it's going to help, but thankfully we're safe. Nobody was breaking into our house. <laughs> and if they ever tried, we have a, a solid security system in place. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just uh, thankful for that, but I'm just tired and I have a lot I need to get done. So I need to get off this couch. The trap nerve is a type of situation where like when I take a deep breath, which is a lot better now, I was literally almost crying earlier. When I take a deep breath, it um, hurts so bad and it's better now that he massaged a little bit and everything. I've stretched a little bit, but just like right in here, I put like a hot, like a heat hot cold patch whatever those are called on it just trying to relax that area but those are so painful and like I couldn't take a full breath all morning it was just very frustrating and almost scary to be like not able to fully breathe but it's getting better but I need to get back in the chiropractor and all of that um that will help too so we're about to go to the run to the store my camera mic in my hand um 
but we're gonna run to the store i don't even like have a good winter coat anymore you guys i'm literally from the midwest and i, ha I don't own anything like that anymore because i don't need it the winter coat that i have doesn't fit over clothes anymore because i'm not as small as i used to be um but anyway we're running this over it's not the prettiest of gifts but it's gonna have to do for today because this is all we had but it's homemade bread for our neighbor i'm excited to give it to her so I'm gonna run the homemade bread over here. It's still warm, so I wanted to give it while it was still warm. So I'm gonna run that over before we go to the store. So I'm giving her a little Christmas card and um, the bread, just in some green tissue paper. It's, the bread is wrapped in foil, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more festive. It's not really super good the way that it's wrapped up, but we're gonna do our best. Okay, <laughs> we're like bundled up in the house today because it's chilly outside. Here it comes. <laughs> Oh wow. Hello. Yeah. Hello. If you see the floor in the background, he's currently uh tearing something up. <laughs> so <laughs> some packaging from a gift that I got. He's just literally tearing it apart. But um so I'm having an iced coffee. I took the gift to our neighbor. She was so sweet about it. It seemed like she was really excited. She said that she was like, Oh my gosh, I love bread. <laughs> And I was Mama, like, that's really Mama. good. Like, Manny makes it, and it's really um like our favorite. And she's like, I'm gonna go eat some right now, because I said it's warm, so like definitely it's super super good warm. And she's like, I'm gonna go have some right now. So I had a feeling she would like it. She makes like homemade jam that's incredible, so the best ever. And so I figured that kind of stuff would be something that she would enjoy. I did cookies one year last year. I did like some chocolate covered pretzels that I that I made. Um, and this year I went a different route with some bread. Hello. Hello. So I went to the store because I wanted to get a few things for some things that I'm going to bake. Um, yesterday I got the peanut butter cookie mix. I really make my own mix a lot of the time for that. It's literally just peanut butter and sugar. It's like the easiest thing ever. Um, but sometimes it's like I don't want to buy extra peanut butter for it or whatever. I just grab the pack. But a lot of the time I use just my own mixture for it. And it's very similar. It's just a little bit more peanut buttery, I think, but it tastes very similar. Uh, peanut butter, sugar, and an egg, I think, is the three things. You can just make the peanut butter cookies out of just that. It's like the easiest thing to make. But mm, I, I do. <laughs> what is happening, honestly? Wow. We're going to go give him a bath soon. His hair his hair is on another level right now. He had gel in it yesterday for his bun. We haven't washed it yet. Um, he'll probably never wash his hair every day. I don't wash my hair every day. But he had gel in it yesterday for, for his bun. And today he wore a hat to go out to the store because it's so cold. So, yeah, it's it's wild. But I think it looks super cute. Um, so, anyway. But he's going to get a bath here in an hour or two. Um, I got some kisses to put in the cookies. I make the peanut butter blossoms every Christmas. They're my favorite Christmassy cookie. To me, they're Christmassy. They're not. It's just because I make them for Christmas. Um, some Reese's to go in them. Couldn't find any like regular packs of these. Every time I go look now, it's always a, oh my gosh, it's always the shareable packs, like the fancier ones. These are a little bit more expensive. They used to have like the thinner packaging. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. And it was cheaper. But I can never find that. I don't know why. Maybe they've changed it now. Um, got some peanut butter, just a small thing of peanut butter, and then this because I want to make um, Buckeyes. Got this meltable chocolate. Want to make Buckeyes? I was been I've been calling them I've been calling them Bullseyes all day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I think they're Buckeyes. Um, I want to make those. I've never made those before, but um, somebody that I watch on Facebook said that the actual melting chocolate, not just um, not just chocolate chips are better for that so i got that because the recipe said chocolate chips but she said chocolate chips are harder to melt because they're not supposed to lose their shape which makes sense um because you know if you make chocolate chip cookies they still look like chocolate chips even melted so kind of makes sense um so anyway i did uh bought that stuff and getting things done to get my closet organized that's another thing i wanted to do today okay he doesn't match very well he's wearing his pajama pants <laughs> with this sweatshirt that's a size 40. Um, honestly, it's not that big. He's telling me it's a shirt. It's not that big considering. I mean, he, he wears a 42 a lot of the time. Most of the time. 
What do you need? Okay, you can hold this. <laughs> That's orange and yellow. Yellow. Yellow is his favorite color. Mm. Blue is your favorite color now? Blue or yellow? Yellow. Yellow. That's what I thought. Blue. Yellow and blue? Blue. Do you say I like both? Eat. You can't eat that. Eat. No, sir. Okay. Not right now. You're going to. No. <laughs> he doesn't even know what this is. You're not going to eat it right now because you're going to eat your dinner. Maybe later we'll have a little treat, but not right now. Okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Tell him, say, we'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Uh, uh, uh. Talk to you soon. He just wants to talk with. Talk to you soon. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Okay. It's the end of night. I have stuff all over my shirt. Zion is about to go to bed. I'm about to take him. Um. He's, he's coming, don't worry, of course. He doesn't miss a camera yeah. debut. You say? You say goodnight? Come on. No. no, you don't. You can't run him. Okay. So anyway, we're going to end um, today's vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow. He's, he's waving at you, just so you know. Hello. Hello, he said. <laughs> Hello, baby. Um, we are going to see you tomorrow for... Christmas Eve, which is absolutely crazy that it's already here. It's about to be Christmas. Zai Zai. He's went and got strawberries out of the fridge by himself. So we had to walk ah! in. And we're eating them right now before bed. But, mm. Mm, yeah. Can you tell them good night? Say see you tomorrow. Ah! Good night. Love. Hey. Love you. Bye, guys. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus ah! loves you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah. Bye. Bye.